All right, well, hello, my name is Jen Miller and I am a PhD student here in the chemistry department at Penn State. And as it sounds, I'm a grad student, so a lot of what I do is research. But my research actually isn't just chemistry. I get to work with an amazing collaborator, Chen Yu, who's in the optical engineering department. And we are actually designing tunable lasers and other kinds of optical systems like cameras that can't just be found in chemistry. The technology that we need uses chemistry, material science, physics, and engineering. Now this is perfect for me because even though I'm a grad student and even though I have to focus and go deep and think super deeply about my topic, I get bored really easily. So I love being able to draw from a variety of different sciences and backgrounds to get the knowledge that I need, even though it comes with its own challenges. What I'm specifically doing is working with these nanoparticles or nanowires and as I change and tune them using my science, I get to change the optical devices that we're making. So our big picture goal is to be able to make smaller, cheaper lasers. That way we can make medical devices that are more accessible, particularly for places like third world countries where that might not be true all the time. My favorite thing about my research project though is that five, 10 years ago, I never in a million years would have imagined that this is what I would be doing. Because in my mind, this is what a path into STEM had to look like. Somewhere in elementary school, you know, by the time you're five or six, you discovered your passion for science and knew exactly what you wanted to do for the rest of your life. By the time you were in high school, you should have decided on your college major, your career plans, and basically all your major life decisions. By 18, 19 if you were slacking. You know, in undergrad, you should ace your classes, build an amazing resume, make all your future career plans, get to grad school, become an expert, find a job, and work happily ever after. If this is your path, that's amazing. This could not be farther from what my path was. My path looked a little more like this. I changed my mind a million times. I wanted to be a veterinarian, a pilot, an astronaut, a teacher. It changed every day. I went through a phase of wanting to be a fashion designer or a makeup artist, and those are still things I'm passionate about, but they're more hobbies than they are my career. I wanted to be a chef, I wanted to be a psychologist and do family counseling. And then somewhere along the way in high school, I realized that I just really liked people, but I didn't actually want to counsel them. So okay, I needed to decide on a major. I decided that I was going to be a pharmacist because I loved people, I wanted to help people, and science was pretty cool. My chemistry class in high school was awesome. So I started at Youngstown State University, my alma mater. I was a first generation college student no one in my family had ever done anything scientific. They all thought I was crazy, but it was gonna be great. I joined the pharmacy club, that's us at a Habitat for Humanity build, and I decided I was gonna figure out everything that I needed to figure out my whole career. And by the end of my first semester, I had a 10-year plan. I was going to get an amazing resume, get my bachelor's degree, go to pharmacy school at Ohio State University, do a clinical residency in oncology, which is cancer research, and land an amazing job. All the kinks were ironed out. I knew exactly what I needed to do, and I had tunnel vision to get to that goal. I was going to do it. There was a tiny problem, though. I started shadowing in pharmacies, you know, got to build the resume, and I hated it. I really, really hated it. I was bored to tears. So now I had this amazing 10-year plan that I wanted nothing to do with. Thankfully, while I was making all these plans and building this amazing resume, I discovered things that I actually was passionate about. I started doing research in my chemistry department. This is me and my research group presenting our very first project. I didn't know what research was going in, but then I discovered something. Research wasn't just walking into some smelly lab and pouring liquids back and forth between beakers and checking off a to-do list. Research was getting to be part of a bigger picture. It was getting to step into lab, and for a moment in time, you had the opportunity to solve a problem that no one else in the world knew the answer to. It might be the tiniest problem, but you got to know that answer, and you got to walk out of lab knowing that you contributed something. I started doing outreach, and I realized I loved it. I loved getting to tell kids about science and let them know that there's a whole world of possibilities. I loved getting to be part of this bigger picture and use my platform of education to educate others. I still love doing outreach. I want to be a professor. I love being part of a light bulb moment for a student where 
they're stuck on a problem, they don't get it, they're frustrated, and you get to come in and, and help them. And in that moment in time, the light bulb goes off and they have that moment where they get it. They have that piece of knowledge that they never knew before and they get to walk away with that satisfaction. For me, there's nothing more rewarding. But I didn't have it all figured out. I still don't have it all figured out. And I don't know that I'll ev I ever will have it all figured out. But I'm at the place where I'm okay with it and I'm excited about those bends in the road. So for you today, with all the time in the world ahead of you, just know that it's okay to not know. You'll figure it out. Discover as you go. You'll figure out your hobbies, your passions, and what you want to do with the rest of your life as you get there. Just pursue your passions today. And lastly, realize there is no perfect path. No matter how well you plan it out, there will be ups and downs and there will be bends, but those just might be the most exciting part of your journey. Thank you.